Hi. <laughs> Sorry, I, I think I'm live. <laughs> Is there anyone now? Hello. Sorry, I put my um. I need to get my iPad working. <laughs> Hello. Sorry, it said it came up. YouTube came up saying that um, it's not available. So hopefully, <laughs> let me just. Oh, sorry, I'm just gonna take me a second. If anyone's watching and you can see me, hello, <laughs> and it's all good. I'm just trying to get my iPad up. See if um, see if I am live. If I can see myself. <laughs> oh dear. Now I'll probably put the camera in the TV and thing in view. Right, I will find, I will find myself eventually. Turn the volume down. Oh, my iPad hates me. Oh, I am live. Hello. <laughs> right, I'm painting stuff today. I've just stuck that there so I can see see if anyone says anything. <laughs> okay, I'm painting a uh, watercolor watercolour um, cactuses this morning if if I can I've got um, a Pinterest up and I've just got lots of I don't know cactuses I've got lots of cactuses myself in my house but none of them have flowered and I'm all just paint flowering ones but um, this one caught my eye I thought it was quite nice so I'm going to sort of paint paint a few, see how it goes. I'm going to start painting anyway. <laughs> Morning, Barbara. <laughs> Hi. So I don't know what happened this morning. It, YouTube told me that um, live wasn't available this morning. And I was like, what? What are you going on about? But I was live. So, um, yeah. Hello. <laughs> Sorry if it's a bit dark. Um, my window is covered in condensation. I will move some stuff off of my windows. <laughs> I've got my studio lights on. But, um, yeah, you know, it's sunny, bright and sunny out there. And it's minus seven. <laughs> it's a bit cold this morning. A bit cold. So, yeah, um, cactus. I'm just going in with some Cascade Green from Daniel Smith, you know. It's always a good colour to start with, isn't it? I'm not quite sure exactly what I'm doing. Just thought I'd have a go. Well, I do know what I'm doing, because, uh, you know, you don't paint watercolour for 30 odd years. I'm not like what you're doing, but you know what I mean. <laughs> I'm not sure what I'm starting. I'm going to mix a bit of um, hands of yellow in with my Cascade Green. These are uh, Daniel Smith colours. If you hear a funny noise in the background, it's my boiler because I've got my um, heating on. <gasps> oh, the luxury. I'm, I'm like at the point where I don't really care anymore. <laughs> After having like a, uh, I want to skewer thing. Where's one? There we go. After having a, uh, I'm just scoring scoring into the paper it would make go if you score into the paper when the paint's wet it would run into the, the mark you've made and make a darker line and if you catch it when it's not um, quite dry when it's sort of half dry you can scratch out and you will create a um, what do you call it a white line <laughs> it will scrape away the paint I'm so good at explaining stuff I don't know. so which probably do have my dainty tissue for blotting and just blotting some areas so it's not all the same. I'm not copying the um, picture directly because you don't do that. That's not, that's not the thing you don't do. <laughs> Make it up yourself. Morning Kimberly. Morning Ella. <laughs> good morning, good morning. Good morning. Um, I love this Cascade Green. It's my new favourite colour. I've been using it um, loads. I've been painting loads of... You'll see on my Instagram. <laughs> loads of... Uh, so I, I start talking and then I get distracted. I'm so easily distracted. 
I've been making lots of cheapies. Oh no, Barbara. I hope it's okay. <laughs> Oh, I hope it's calming to watch me paint. I'm, not, I'm, I'm never sure whether I'm a calming influence or a bit erratic. <laughs> I go, go off on a tangent. I start, start talking about something and then get distracted. I'm mixing a bit of pink and hands yellow. Sorry you can't see my palette, but um, it's either you focus on what I'm painting or my palette. But I'll just show you my palette. I love my palette, it's really heavy. <laughs> this is my palette. So it's over on the side. I've got all my colours in there that I like using. I was trying to make this like peachy colour. Oh, I know what I've got. I've got this like, there's me trying to mix up the colour that I've actually got, which is um, a Van Gogh um, Naples yellow on the red shade, which I love. So I was just trying to. Um, these flowers are quite nice actually, they've got orange in the middle so I love like this pinky orangey colour, that's quite opaque that Daniel Smith colour, so well, I'm just, not Daniel Smith, that Van Gogh Naples yellow is quite opaque, Let's stick a bit of orange in the middle. Yeah I was thinking your, your car, oh no I hope your cat's alright. <laughs> I was thinking, how's your car having it? Maybe you refer to your um, your um, car car as an animal. <laughs> I didn't I didn't want to um, suggest it. <laughs> you never know, do you? Oh, I hope she's okay. He, he, she. Oh no. That's worrying when it's um, the back legs of an animal. I know. Um, my dog Cyril, bless his little socks, has um, has fits, and I'm always so scared that he's going to because um, he loses all like all control of his body when he's has, having his fits and he can't walk. And it takes a little while for his back legs to start working again. Sometimes I'm always so worried that he's not gonna like recover from one from one um, so it worries it's a worry I hope, I hope she's going to be okay He's, I'm doing this for spikes <laughs> I'm just scratching using the paint that's on there I'm, I'm not worried I'm not worried if it's like the pink or whatever uh, let me show you see if I can show you this is sort of dry if you get your finger now and it's, you know, it's too wet still I was going to show you the um, effect you can get. I'm splashing water everywhere. Just wipe that off. See, I'm so. Um... Let's <laughs> put a bit of yellow in the middle of these. They've got like little yellow, yellow um, pets. Yellow pets. I'm going to get my yellow pencil out in a bit. You can see. I might come in with a little bit of white gouache to um, paint the prickles. I went out in my, um, about cars and things, <laughs> I went out in my um, little what's it van the other day. I keep thinking oh, I was going to sell her because um, we want to get a bigger van. But she's a tiny little Diatsu hijack camper van. Oh, oh, it's so fun. <laughs> I just like going and just driving her it just puts a smile on my face. It's just like. Right, that's one sort of, um, I'll just do some scrapey bits in the middle of here. I mean, they won't show loads, but um, I, will, I will be happy knowing they are there. <laughs> yeah, it's 
nice to be back live actually. I like I like the liveness. <laughs> Let's do another another oh I might put a bit of salt on this. You know <laughs> Let's get a little bit of salt. I'm just, this is just normal table salt. I mean, I have got that bigger salt I could. Hang on, I'll just throw that over my left shoulder. What sides is it you're supposed to throw it over? Left or your right? I think it's your left shoulder. To throw salt in the devil's eye or something like that. Just feel salt. I don't know. <laughs> I've got these bigger salt crystals. I was thinking if I strug, just, and this is a word I can't say, strategi strategically put them along the lines where the um I don't know if it's wet too not wet enough <laughs> this is like a total experiment I'm, I'm not usually this precise about stuff I just usually just slap stuff on if you know what I mean I'm just trying to sprinkle them in the oh who cares just to get anywhere <laughs> there I've got it everywhere now I'm just going to blot out some little bits of this so it's not all the same tone everywhere. Love blotting. You can lift the colour out as well with a damp brush as well, but I like the blotting thing. <coughs> Sorry about my cough. <coughs> I, I'm better. I had an awful cough. <laughs> a really bad cough. Coming back from um, Sussex. I call it the Sussex Lurgy. I am um, sort of, let's try and do a different one. This one's got like orange cactus on top of that. It must be the flower. I'll show you this one. This one. So I'm going to try and paint something a bit like that. <laughs> I don't know if someone's made it up. There's like someone's artwork. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> But I'm going to paint something similar. It's not going to be the same. <laughs> this is um, my favourite. Cascade Green as well. And I'm just going to drop in some ink. Well, it's not ink. It's... Um, different, some people call it ink. And some people call it um, watercolour. I don't know. I'm never sure. It's liquid. Liquid watercolour. And before anybody says no, I don't care whether it's um, what do you call it? <laughs> well, someone called it a really weird word. If like the light fastness doesn't work, fugitive <laughs> watercolor. I don't know what. I'm like I don't really care. <laughs> I just paint with the colors I like. Some people spend far too much time thinking about stuff. I've never had any sort of colours fade on me. I know, like people say, Azillian crimson is not a um, is a fugitive <laughs> watercolour. It sounds like you, like you shouldn't be painting with them. <laughs> How dare you! <laughs> but most people don't put their paintings in bright sunlight and things like that. I mean, my, most of my art is for. Um, I'm just making this look like a cactus and doing a few spikes, just dragging out. Most of my art is for textile design, so it all gets like scanned and and stuff, so it's not it's not um, hung on anybody's wall, so it, oh, I'm not bothered. <laughs> Especially if you're just like playing and round. If you're gonna do like a really posh painting, as you can call it. Look a little bit of posh painting. If you're going to do like a really like painting that you know is going to be hung somewhere, then, then I'd be sort of a bit more mindful about the colours I'm using. But I don't care. <laughs> it's a hobbit house door. It does. I can see. I could just need to put a little handle on. <laughs> Quite like that. I'm just gonna put a bit of normal this, this salt, this salt, like table salt. It's probably a bit wet, but um, if you put it down whilst the paper's a bit wet, it doesn't work. You have to catch it at the right time. But 
you know I'm like I'm impatient so I just stick it on I mean I quite like that like that I'll probably go over it with some white gouache I'm quite enjoying painting these sorry I'm gonna cough again forewarned <coughs> 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 Right, let's find another cactus. I, I remember having this like little cactus. <laughs> it was called Tom, Dick and Harry. And, but it used to flower all the time. I think my sister's got it. It belonged to my nan. I mean, she lived she, until she was 96. And um, she'd had that cactus like forever. And she was born in 1888, I think. And she had this cactus forever, I could remember. And she had it in this really lovely... Um, I don't know if you know the artist Mary Shelley, she Mary she is it Mary Shelley? Not the author, <laughs> but the artist. She used to paint uh, ceramics and things. And she had it in a little pot like that with, it was sort of an aqua colour with all these lovely pink flowers and that. it was really nice. I have to ask my sister, she's weird how you remember things. I hope she's still got it. I'm sure she has. I'll ask her later when I speak to her. I'll ask her if Tom, Dick and Harry is still alive. But it's not Tom, Dick and Harry because it maybe it started off as three bits, but now it's like loads. Hi, Mark. Hi, Manny. <laughs> it's all right. Don't you need to apologise. <laughs> I'm never on time. Well, I am. I'm quite punctual, actually. <laughs> but um, I don't mind. <laughs> I'll let you off. I'm sort of doing some dry, dry, dry brushing here, so um, my watercolour is not that wet, and I've got nice texture on this paper. This is Saunders Waterford paper, and yes, it's expensive, and I don't care that I'm just messing around on that. Even though I don't have expensive paper that often, I just quite like it. This is another cactus. <laughs> I know many <laughs> I, because I haven't been here <laughs> so I've got to build up my um um what do you call it again even though it's really weird I've got like more subscribers did you see my hat then look I've got this hat on I crocheted it <laughs> I tied my I like it's a, like a big rasta hat and I put my dreads in it and it keeps them out of shot of the painting because <laughs> sometimes they like like to escape <laughs> what was I saying I've forgotten <laughs> oh dear. I was saying something wasn't I about was it about being oh no getting back into the I have like more subscribers than I've had for ages but my views have gone down since I haven't been doing my lives which is really weird and for YouTube, you don't get paid for your dis describers, describers, subscribers. You don't get paid for them. You get paid for the amount of views you have. So, um, not that I make much money from my YouTube anyway, because it's rather rubbish. So, if you'd like, if you like my paintings and you'd like to support me, please come and join my Patreon, because then I get, um, you get all the YouTube videos on there without the adverts when I put them up and you also get um, exclusive tutorials every week and I set you a project each month sort of a monthly challenge thing you don't have to do it's just there and this week is tulips you've got lots of tulip three tulip tutorials coming up today Yes, really, I have been using like this 100% cotton. This is Saunders Waterford 100% cotton. But I do like Bockingford because um, it comes, you can lift the paint off. You know how much I like blotting. But um, this cotton, is this cotton? Doesn't say. This Saunders Waterford cotton. You think it'd say? Oh, yeah, 100% cotton. Um, 
which, you know, I'm not 100% smitten <laughs> with it because um, it soaks in the colour too much and I like to ha have more time because I paint a lot of wet and to wet I like to lift the colour and drop more colour in and I find that the Bockingford um, the Bockingford um, it doesn't soak in as quickly so I've got more chance to lift the colour off so that's what I found that's why I'm using this paper up because I'm not going to buy it anymore <laughs> I don't like it as much as the other one. I like my Bockingford and cheap paper. I mean, it's a bit like arches. Oh, arches, oh, how you say it? I don't like that either. That's the same reason because it's a hundred percent cotton, and and um, I've been like trying to paint with these. <laughs> I might do a cactus with it. Mm. Yeah, it does have a, it does look more. Um, the tulips and I have put some um, I don't this might be upside down I'm just gonna move my camera you can see my wall uh, it's upside down sorry here we go uh, uh. <laughs> sorry it's my webcam and um, yeah tulips and daffodils uh, they're painted on 100% um, cotton these ones that the, and that one's not that one up there. <laughs> I suppose it does come out nicer. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, so there's there's tulips. And if you want to learn how to paint all those paintings, I've got tutorials of them on my Patreon. And you only have to pay six ninety nine a month, you know. It's um it's um a bargain. <laughs> I'll be back, am I around the right way here? <laughs> Yeah, I like my elephants. I'm going to paint some more. <laughs> Do you want to see them again? Oh, I'm just getting a bit of blotting paper out because I want to blot out some. This is really wet still, but see, it does, the colour doesn't lift. <laughs> it doesn't lift off. I'll show you. <laughs> Let me get... Right, this is the Bockingford paper. I don't... Oh, this is nice. I'll just show you in a corner. I'm going to try not to. Um, it does have some colours are staining as well, and some aren't. So um, let me just use the orange. I just do. And uh, this is Bockingford. I don't want to put it. And this is like the hundred percent cotton. So it goes on there. And then if I want to block off, I can lift the colour really easy on that. But it doesn't lift. See, see the difference. <laughs> see, it lifts off really well on that one. No. And loads of my art, I just lift off colour with blotting paper, and it doesn't work on this. It does, but not as well. Can you see? Can you see the difference on that? Sorry, I was right down in the bottom. <laughs> see, that's why I like. Um, Bocking food, and there we go. I can just completely wipe the colour off, and it's like almost gone. <laughs> and on this one, I'm not going to be able to do that. See, you can still see the mark. See, I just wiped that. <laughs> I just wiped that one off. I could clean it if I had clean water; it would come off completely. But then you're left with a mark on that one. <clears throat> What's that mark? Have I opened my in-house shop? I've opened, oh gosh, it's a bit all over the place at the minute. I've got, a, <laughs> I don't know, there's new links to things. I've got new website, which I keep forgetting to put stuff on. Because I'm really good at putting the stuff up for sale, not. Um, and I've got, I've got, I sell stuff on eBay. Thank you, Barbara. <laughs> Barbara's been buying all my stuff on eBay because it's really cheap. Because I've got so much stuff, so I'm just trying to get rid of paintings. Occasionally, occasionally I put it up. I've got my Etsy shop, and I've got my shop on my website as well. But I'm trying to. Um, be more organized which I will be because I haven't been very well 
but um, I'm going to be more organised. <laughs> how, how many times have you told me? Have you heard me say that? But I'm going. I am going to paint with this. I haven't forgotten. <laughs> I was going to try and paint a cactus. I've got like I'm going to wet it. and stick it in like a liquid watercolour. Are you ready for this? Let's just paint a long... Ooh, hello. You can get weird shapes with this. Ooh, that's quite nice. And because this is that liquid watercolour, I'm going to drop bleach into it because um, it might do weird things. Oh, it's not on blocking paper, so it's not going to, is it? No. Now I've got loads of colour on this brush. <laughs> see if I can... Um find a scrappy bit of paper. I did have a bit somewhere. I like to have a scrap bit of paper somewhere. I mean, this is like, I was painting a nest, it didn't work. <laughs> so this is a scrappy bit of um, like bucking food. Oh look, you can like, so I, I don't like wasting paint. So this is going to be another cactus. Sometimes the things that you do the quickest work out the best. Oh, that's got loads of colour on it. I'm going to suck that up a bit. I don't think I'll put so much on there. Let's paint some more. Can you see what I'm doing? I'm just... <laughs> Splodging. Cactus shapes. It looks like a cactus, doesn't it? Yeah. I'm going to rinse that out. <laughs> I'm going to sprinkle salt over this. Because it's just an experiment. I might put that over one side. I want to put, like, blot it, but I know it's not going to work. So I'm just going to blot it with a bit of tissue stuff. It'll work. I'll fit that print. Sometimes you can, like, print. No, it sucks it up too much. Oh, my house open. I did have a uh, open... No, I haven't got my house open. I've got, I like, a, I haven't done one for a while. Um, I've got my, um, <laughs> I did have an open garden. Um, which was in when was it August? I had two last year, and they went extremely well, um, especially the August one, because my house was found <laughs> it's something to do with George Stevenson, who invented the steam train, train whatever. Um, there was a guy that lived here called Thomas. Thomas. Oh God, I've forgotten his name. Thomas Story, that's it. So he built this house to live in and he was a train engineer apparently and he knew George, someone, Steve Robert Stevenson. He was married to his cousin or something. I don't know. And he built things. <laughs> so my house was a bit of the... Um, I only found this out last year so I had all these train geeks come and visit me. Which was good, and I sold lots of art, which was nice. <laughs> so I'm not doing it this year because um, <laughs> it's a lot of work. Even though, as much as I like doing it, um, I don't know. It's not like can open. I'm going to have exhibitions and things, but I'm not going to open my garden because it is a lot of work and. Um, I haven't been well and I don't need any more stress at the minute <laughs> it's not good for you so I'm having having this year off so I've done it for the past two years and it's been really good and I've enjoyed it but I'm not doing it instead I'm doing like workshops so I've got this um, tulip workshop and I might open my house to have some workshops as well but um I'm just concentrating on feeling better at the minute rather than doing stuff. We don't have cactus that grow grow here. <laughs> I'm always like, oh, I wanna, I wanna go somewhere like desert where they have cactus growing and see them for real. It's only if you go to like botanic gardens. I've got a few in my um. house uh -huh, they're in the window but um, the only reason why I can grow cactuses is because they don't need much water do they and I'm not very really good at remembering to water plants 
even though I've got like a million zillion plant house plants I mean, I've sort of timed myself how long it took me it took me 40 minutes to water all my plants the other day <laughs> and I'm like no no wonder I don't do it I get bored or distracted <laughs> uh, stopped by him um, they're cactuses which is fine and I might paint some um what do you call it flares flares <laughs> differently cactus flowers they're weird aren't they I'm gonna paint some pink cactus flowers I was gonna try and paint some flowers with this spongy thing it's intriguing me I saw someone painting some really nice flowers with with one of these so let's try <laughs> It. you don't have much control over it but they give them like nice marks spongy marks oh that's quite nice that looks like a flower <laughs> experimental i've been like finding stuff to um take my mind off things <laughs> Because I've, I've had like um, dangerously high blood pressure, so I've been trying to find things to chill me. And <laughs> I, I used to do knitwear designing for like I did that for like ten years, and um, I've got lots of knitting machines. So I dug them out of the cupboard the other day, and I got one going, the chunky knit one. And it's amazing how quickly everything comes back to you. I, mean, I haven't done my like knitwear or had my knitting machines out for like over 10 years and everything. God, it's a long time. And um, I've already knitted <laughs> like three pairs of socks, a hat, a jumper. <laughs> and I only got it out on Sunday. <laughs> I think it's too wet for cactuses here. To grow like in the wild I know my brother's got some in his garden he lives down down south ways <laughs> down south and it's much warmer down there than it is up here so I can't grow echiums I like echiums my brother always has really lovely echiums in his um, garden I can't grow those they just die and they die because it's too cold and then it's too wet and they rot and just they still like it <laughs> yeah let's try another flower well i've got lots of this orange paint here let's mix up it's a bit weird painting with a spongy brush <laughs> it's nice though it's different it's a bit of... you haven't got any control over it so if you want to do things that are a bit um abstract or get different effects that looks like a flower let's turn this blob here that I made into a flower it's a bit more yellow I don't think I'm sold on um, sponge painting <laughs> don't know, those turned out okay a bit pink pink and yellow is always nice in that <laughs> I'm not sure if I like the squareness I suppose they might turn into nice flowers possibly see the bleach doesn't work as well either on um, this paper <laughs> you can see the salt working there Anyway, I think I'm sort of almost done. I'm just going to paint some more like flower shapes. <laughs> Let's put a bit of orange, orange, orange in the middle. I've got like this red. I've, I've tipped out some um, thingy ink. Not ink. It's wa liquid watercolour, isn't it? Let's drop a bit of that in the middles. Sort of a pinky. Do you call that a warm or a dark, <laughs> uh, a cool colour, a bluey pink colour? Yeah. 
I'm doing lines, lines and lines and lines. <laughs> oh, that makes quite a. That make a nice like flower. Could drop, drop some. So now I'm getting carried away with the sponge brush. <laughs> Let's rinse off that. There's a bit of yellow in it, and then oh, I was looking at those schminky. I call them schminky. I don't know how to schminkle. I don't know how to say it mainly. Um, granulation things. You'll have to let me know what they're like. <laughs> I mean, I did buy these. I bought some colours. <laughs> Because I started using it because uh, tubes I get fed up with tubes because I end up cutting them up and making a mess so I Daniel Smith do these watercolor sticks I didn't show you the other day so I got a few and I, what I do I just cut off an end and put it in my palette and you can also use them to um, draw <laughs> draw as well which I thought was quite good And that was sort of making a, a flowery shape. Um, yeah, so I got some of those and I really like them. I got Moon Glow, Hansy Yellow, and this colour. And I did have another one on order, but I haven't sent it. Kunokodone Burnt Orange. And I quite like them. They're, they're a bit different. I'm just sort of doing some more of these stick sticks stick flowers <laughs> they're just squares aren't they look pretty colors there before i get carried away anyway <laughs> i'm gonna go now that's like my cactuses and then there's some really bright ones there i might stick some of these flowers on them to make a design <laughs> yeah i think those sticks are more um yeah, it's a bit economical because you haven't got all the packaging either and you don't have to squeeze it out and you can just and it's they stay moist <laughs> I like that word they stay very moist for a while um, and I like them and I got sent this holder thing for free with them so that, they were from Jackson's art supplies I think I got them from if you're in the UK anyway Thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this. Please join me again. I'm trying to do, let me just tell you what I'm doing. I'm trying to do live like watercolour Wednesdays and um, I didn't get to do my chat last Wednesday. I'm going to try and do one for this evening, whether I get time or not, but I definitely do start doing that. So I'm going to do live on Wednesdays and Friday mornings. So it's going to be two times. <laughs> Wednesday and Friday I'm going to do a live and on Mondays I'm going to put up a tutorial video so yeah because I seem to get more views for my lives than I do my tutorials which is weird even though people subscribe more anyway who will un ever understand YouTube I don't know if you did like this please give us a thumbs up please hit the bell icon as well and you'll be notified when I come on live or because I try and schedule them I will try and schedule them <coughs> excuse me a bit more and um look forward to a, like a face-to-face -face chat <laughs> rather than just my hands and this <laughs> so i thought that would be good and i'll show you what i've been doing and stuff a bit like my if you'd like my other art i I'll go on the mitzi b crawl <laughs> channel <laughs> so it's a separate channel and i've got vlogs on there so if you like vlogs like studio vlogs and what's going on in my life that's on there but i am going to do one sort of for watercolor but i'm just going to talk about my watercolors Anyway, was that, was that what I was saying? Yeah. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe already. And please think about joining my Patreon where there's like hundreds of tutorials on how to paint in watercolour. So thank you for joining me. And I will see you on Friday. And look out for a chat later. If I, if I feel up to it, I might look at it and go, God, I look awful because I haven't been well. So anyway, thank you for joining me. And I will see you soon. Bye. Now I've got to just walk over that way to my computer to turn everything off so you might hear a bit clunky but see ya <laughs> bye